Hey guys, welcome back to the channel for another Ninjago video. In today's video, we are going to be discussing the LEGO Ninjago movie and what effect it had on the ninja. And in this video, we'll be analyzing the impact of the movie and how each of our six ninja changed from season 7 to season 8 and how exactly the movie did influence them. In this video, we will not be talking about the designs. You didn't come here to watch me explain how each of the designs changed, how Jay doesn't have his eyebrow notch anymore, but instead we're going to be talking about the ninja's personalities and character traits, as well as their roles in the show, and how the movie has changed them, or at least how they have changed after the movie. So we'll be talking about the six ninja in this video, and that's all. So we'll start off with Kai the Fire Ninja. I'll keep Kai's section brief, because a couple days back I made an entire video on why Kai's state after the movie is pretty bad. So yeah, if you want to see me rant on the new version of Kai, go ahead and check out the video, or if you just simply want to see a more detailed explanation. But basically, to sum it up, Kai has become a comic relief character now, and lost the serious tone that he had in Season 7, and in other seasons past too. Unlike the way Jay is, Kai's jokes are not funny either, and in fact, they're pretty bad too, so that certainly does not help anything. He's just kind of become more childish as a character, and he's become more immature too, such as when he pulls out the books in the season premiere of Sons of Garmadon. But I think out of our four post-movie seasons, the season that gets him and does him the best is undoubtedly season 10, March of the Oni. There are two key scenes where we really see true Kai, and those would be when he comforts Nia in episode 97, and when after Cole falls, he tries to turn the bounty around in episode 97 too. Other than that, we have not really seen our true Kai since season 8. So that really is a shame, and I hope that they can get Kai right in these upcoming seasons, because he used to be honestly one of the better ninja. Transitioning into Cole, Cole has definitely been affected a lot since the Lego Ninjago movie, and in the best possible way, honestly. I think out of the six ninja, he has been impacted the best and gotten the best treatment since the movie. So basically, Cole has always and still doesn't really have any real focus seasons, and he is the least developed, I would say, out of the ninja, maybe alongside Nia. But yeah, honestly, since the Lego Ninjago movie, Cole has just improved so much as a character. We have some really key scenes, such as in episode 76, when he climbs up the royal palace and has that vision of Wu, or that flashback of Wu. And then there are other key scenes too for Cole's character, mainly throughout Hunted and Sons of Garmadon, when he bonds with Wu as well. This relationship being emphasized in a greater detail is honestly amazing, and I just hope Cole continues to get more development. With more development, I honestly think he could become my favorite ninja. He's just so relatable as a character, and he's just a really down-to-earth kind of guy that is definitely very understandable and just a charming guy too. Despite, however, believing that he would play a big role in Season 10, he does play a bigger role compared to other ninja, but he really doesn't get that much development in Season 10. But honestly, the movie has just given Cole some more seasons with bigger roles, and I'm hoping this does lead up to his own focus season, because he really deserves it more than Lloyd or any other ninja. Out of all the ninja, Zane has definitely changed the least, and there's barely anything really to say for this, because he hasn't honestly changed that much. He's more serious as a character, and also on top of that, his relationship with Pixel has kind of been revived too. Ever since season 4, it's been on the decline, but with season 8, and after Samurai X is revealed to be Pixel, that relationship is kickstarted again, and has honestly just been getting better since then. And I think that's great, honestly. I think that ever since the movie, even though Zane hasn't really changed that much, other than, of course, his hologram thing, which is technically designed, so we won't really talk about that at all. But yeah, honestly, despite the little changes that Zane has had, I still think he is improving. Ever since the original two seasons, his development hasn't been as unique or as meaningful in seasons 1, 2, 3, and 4, that is his best development, honestly. Since then, we haven't seen any amazing development, but we have reason to believe that he may be playing a pretty big role in season 11, too. So I think Zane has improved, but not too much. Jay has also changed as a character ever since the movie, too. And the best term to describe his development since the beginning of the series and to now is kind of like a parabola, with season 6 being its highest point. Season 6 proved that Jay was more than just a comic relief character, and showed a much more serious and honorable side of Jay. Season 7 tried its best to continue this, and it did a good job of doing so. Jay had a pretty big role in Season 7. But ever since then, Jay has been going back to being a comic relief character alongside his buddy Kai. Although the difference is, Jay is actually funny in my opinion, while Kai is not as I had already explained. 
Jay in the original two seasons was the comic relief ninja. And even in the next few seasons, he would continue to be comic relief. Starting with season 5, he was less comic relief as season 5 took on a more serious tone. And in season 6, Jay was absolutely not the comic relief character anymore. Although his jokes, and there were still jokes that he had, and they were still funny. With season 7, of course, uh, parts of his relationship with Neo were also emphasized in this season. But as of the recent seasons, he has just pretty much been comic relief again, and he's going back to being a comic relief character. I also want to add that Jay's humor, especially in seasons 8 and 9, has kind of become more panicky, and just we've seen more of him freaking out in situations like he did back in the early seasons. And heck, we even see him go insane for the first few episodes of Hunted. After Cole, I would like for Jay to have a focus season next, because I think he definitely does need more development to reinforce that he is a serious character also. Nia has definitely also been impacted a lot by the Lego Ninjago movie, but to be fair, the foundations for her changes were laid back in season 5 when she became the- To be honest, ever since she gave up the role of Samurai X, I think that she has kind of been on the decline. And I don't mean this in a bad way, because she is definitely one of my favorite characters, but I think she was so much better, honestly, back in the first seasons. And I'll explain why. But first, in the Lego Ninjago movie, Nia is just pretty much known for being the girl ninja, the strong, independent girl ninja who rides a motorcycle in school and knows how to fend for herself. And this is true in the show, but back before the movie, they don't really push this as much. She's shown to be a charming character who has relationships with others too, and yeah, she can fight for her own, she can fight on her own, but she doesn't do that all the time. That's not something that is specifically hammered into the viewer's head. And in recent seasons, starting in season seven, she kinda, I feel like, becomes more serious of a character and in season 8, I don't think she's as sweet or charming of a character as she was, and she's a lot more serious too. She is starting to kind of more fit that strong girl power archetype that the movie tried to enforce, but I do think that season 10 does get her right because they do show the emotional side of Nia on top of showing the smarter side of her too, the crafty side that would build weapons and stuff. This is also a side of Nia that we have not yet seen in the post-movie seasons. The side of Nia that devises really cool plants and builds all kinds of weapons and stuff. So Nia's character, honestly, I think has gotten a bit more boring since the movie, but I'm hoping that it can become what it was before and incorporate at least some of the elements that made the old Nia really unique. Last and probably least for some of you, Lloyd, the Green Ninja. First of all, his recast. Whether his recast is completely because of the movie is up to you, but I personally don't think he would have been recast had the movie not existed. Although that's up to debate since we don't know the answer. Ever since the movie, Lloyd has had a much bigger role. And this is likely because the movie focuses on Lloyd. Lloyd had season 8 as his focus season, but he also kind of stole the spotlight in seasons 9 and 10. 9 is technically not a focus season, while 10 is definitely not. But yet, I feel like both of these are Lloyd seasons. As HF Masters says, his daddy issues are also back, and Garmanon is back in the TV show due to the movie, for sure. These seasons, and season 11 also, emphasize that he's the leader of the ninja team. In season 11, I think he's kind of portrayed as a stereotypical leader in a children's show. Motivational speeches, doing all the work, and more. I think Lloyd's development throughout the Oni trilogy, while being very repetitive, is great, but it's time for him to take a backseat and let other characters get their time in the spotlight. To sum it up, Lloyd's had a bigger role and is portrayed more evidently as the leader. HF Masters also made a video a couple weeks back called The Problem with Lloyd, which is basically a much better version of my Lloyd problem video and adds a lot more to it too. And it basically explains how Lloyd's development has gotten repetitive and more importantly, how he's holding back other characters too. So it's a very well made video and it definitely goes with what I'm saying in this video too. But anyways, that's going to be all for this video. I hope you enjoyed this look back on how the movie influenced and changed our favorite ninja. Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, Share with anyone and everyone you know. And let me know what you thought of this video and which character changes you like and which ones you dislike. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.